Good morning. My name is Naomi Berkshine and I'm the Executive Director of Harm Reduction International. We are really excited to welcome everyone to our two-day Constellations Festival. This will be the second time we host a Constellations Festival. Constellations in 2021 was an experiment for us, the first time we had tried an online conference at any scale and obviously a response to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has changed our lives since 2020. We were really thrilled with how it went. Notwithstanding the physical distances between us, we felt connected through our shared fight for compassionate evidence-based drug policy, through our photos of yoga sessions. We felt uplifted by activists calling out the links between drug policy, racism and colonial systems and structures, by discussions on pleasure, and by the everyday work done by service providers, connecting with one person at a time, meeting people where they're at. In 2021, we worked to the themes of science, justice, and pleasure for the festival. This time, we invited an eclectic mix of speakers on the burning issues of 2022, and a clear thread has emerged, ordinary people doing extraordinary things in the face of crisis. Over the next two days, we're fortunate to be hearing from the Eurasian Harm Reduction Association and a panel of extraordinarily le leaders from Ukraine on the exceptional solidarity of community and civil society in supporting Ukrainian people who use drugs, sex workers, people living with HIV and the LGBT community since the Russian invasion. In a session co-hosted by Health Poverty Action, we'll hear about the power and resources the drug trade offers to influential actors, including organized crime, and why this poses such a threat to climate justice. We'll reflect on the parallels between the brave choices Ricky Bluthenthal made in the 90s in the Bay Area of America, distributing sterile needles and syringes despite knowing that he could be arrested for doing so, and the somewhat distressing fact that 30 years later, Americans operating the first ever unsanctioned safer injection facility face the same risks. Tomorrow, we'll meet with two outstanding experts from the Philippines, talk about challenging the use of drug laws through the UN Working Group on Arbitrary Detention with the chair of that working group. We talk about chemsex, and then we'll close the big conversation between Kurt Schmoke, the former mayor of Baltimore, David Simon, the creator and producer of The Wire, and Professor Su Susan Sherman on the war on drugs. We hope that the whole program is motivating and inspiring because when it comes to it, we all need a boost to continue to make brave choices every day. And in the harm reduction and drug policy reform space, we are surrounded by people making brave choices every day. On this point, it's worth pausing to reflect our awe at the women protesting in Iran right now, stand with people fighting for bodily autonomy as it is International Safe Abortion Day, and with the millions of people just fighting to survive after the floods in Pakistan, Hurricane Fiona in Puerto Rico, or any of the many places grappling with a combination of climate change and disaster response. So two final things before I move us to our brilliant Wellness Wednesday program, which includes yoga with Wellbe Up Next and the Laughing Club at lunch, led by none other than the world chairman of the Laughter Clubs of India. Firstly, I want to thank our conference directors, Maddie O'Hare and Lucy O'Hare, who are the brilliant minds curating the Constellation series, along with Rud Ariette, Erica Dupuy, and the whole team at Harm Reduction International. And secondly, we are working our way up to an in-person conference in April 2023. We are so excited to be holding the first post-pandemic gathering of the global harm reduction movement and want you to get it into your calendars. Very important to know, abstracts close on the 30th of September, so if you have something to share, submit it now. With that, I am very happy to introduce you all to Wellbe. Wellbe ran our yoga session at Constellations 2021 and is back by popular demand. He'll be guiding us through a session on knowing and feeling everything we do. Thank you, Welby. Thank you, Naomi. Okay, welcome. You are joining from the, the last year again. Well, welcome to the practice. Thank you for Yeah. Um, well, nice to meet you all. And I hope you enjoy the practice. Quite slow, so don't rush. If you ever see me, like you can take it, take a face, so you don't have to follow everything. Like it's definitely in the list that you can take your time. So the next one I want to introduce is a block. Yeah. So if you can grab it right now, I will wait for a few one minute yeah, for you to prepare. Sit on. 
example this movements. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I'm going to talk and walk to uh, walk through for your hip to open and then legs. So if you do feel feel the pain or any pain step anywhere, try to take up. Uh, number two is the height. Yeah, you don't need to go to low. Yeah, take your foot. Follow your own pace. Okay, whenever you're ready. Yes. Are you ready for it? Yes. Let's start it from standing position. Let's make your legs. That's first. Yeah. The next thing is you want to loosen the hip by moving side to side. Okay, take your time. And this, when you some people will have more range. Some people can go far, far away. Some people feel like they're not comfortable. So if you do feel not comfortable, well, take your time also. Try to find that maybe it's because of the stiffness or because maybe there's injury at that time. That's it. So the next one, let's start with, uh, let's open the legs wide. A lot. So move. Moving the hip side to side. Yeah. Found the center as a start. Move one side of the hip higher, one side of the hip lower. And then repeat the process. Exhale, go to the other side. For this movement, you don't want to tilt the hip forward and down point. I will ask that. But for now, it's still one line on this side to side. Now repeating one more time. Right and then left. Moments. All right. For the next one, inhale at the center. Exhale. So your tailbone will rise up slightly or lock. Inhale to the center. Also, tailbone go under. It is smooth tailbone. Some people say. Repeat the process. Also, twice over. Yeah, maybe you can go over this now. Yeah, if you feel the stretch at hand, so that's good. That's what we want to stretch. But if you feel the pain, pain sometimes you need to consider the knee spell. Okay, for the next one, center and then lift the hands up. Now, keeping your arms, hands to the ceiling, can you reach higher? And so you can breathe to lengthen the body. And each exhale, you can go in a slight back movements, not too much. And because you want to feel the, the right rhythm longer. The next exhale, tilt the hip back, uh, tilt the hip forward until then. Now let's check it, recheck it again. Your arms, fingertips, below shoulders. Sometimes at the point, the mat maybe is slippery. Yeah, like this. And then lifting the hip and then the heels up. As you breathe out, go back to the ground slowly. And as you repeat this process, you repeat Exhale to go back and down slightly, which is lower the chest. Forward and kick up. Exhale, go back and lower the chest up. Okay. At this location, can you actually fold deeper with the breath up? For now, you can use your hands to support. Eventually, you can loosen the hips, loosen the neck. For the next two exercises, one more breath up. Before we come up, slightly bend the knees and then roll the body up, bone by bone. And then next one, we're going to move quite non stop. So, right leg bend to the side, which is and then the next inhale, bring your right hand up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, breathe. just place it there. And then the left hand reach up to the ceiling when you Breathe. Right down to the floor. Yeah, that's the thing. It's right hand on the ground outside the leg. Taking that leg slowly to feel the hamstring rip. And press only one more time. And then breathe out slowly, straight away. Okay, come back to the back. And then to the back. Into plank pose. With this, lower your knees down. Down with chaturanga, which is good. Just inhale to cobra or baby cobra for exhale. But we're going to push again back to down. Now for this 
first one done. Let's say the next, next inhale, can you use your hands to push your hip a bit higher and longer? If you feel tight at the hand, hands hip or pop, take the time with the bit for next. One more inhale, momentum. For the three leg dog. Bend the knee, open hip. Okay. And then step forward and just inside your palm. If you cannot do it, bring it and then rise the hands up. Inhale. And then go to work. For your two, in, both arms up and turn your toes. Exhale, fingertips to the ground. Let's use one inhale to lift the chest and then bend the butt elbows. Slow and come back up, breathing. Let's do the other side. Bend your left leg. Sun warrior. Inhale. Right hand rising, sitting, opening the chest. Take it down and press your breath. Left hand outside and kiss your knee. Slowly by pushing the pad instead of the knee inside. And one more time. Inhale the bend. Exhale the push. Come back to like this. Back here. Back down the British pass. Down the push your right hand. Now also stay. How far and how long can you go before you press the hips? Yes. So attention, bend the knees again. It's okay to keep it bent for one more deep breath. Next, inhale, come forward again. Deep breath, knees down if necessary. Jump, go back or up, up, inhale, and then push back to down. Next, left. Three leg dog. Inhale. Bend the knee. Lift the heel. Inhale. Stacking. Lunges inside. Half. Iron. Slow comes up. Two warriors facing to the camera. Move my knees. And then forward. Bend. Exhale. Pit on the hip. One up. And then the next four. Bend. Let's stay for the next three. Find longer and then exhale the fold. So if you have high blood pressure, kind of easy. If you keep looking back, you can actually still look down. You don't need to look back. And one more breath for everybody. Right. Let's come back up. Roll in. Warrior two. Same like previous. Only upgrade. Exhale. Right hand inside. Inside on the floor, bend both elbows, lower your chest. You may look back. Uh, inhale, lift the heart, chest up, and then exhale, slowly lower it down. One, bend knee, back knee, bend the knee to the floor very slowly. And, and as you exhale, push the hip to straight in the leg. And how far can you go? You can come forward. So if you cannot touch it, Comfortably, you might need to consider using the push the hip. Yeah. And one time, inhale the bend. For the next day, can you hold three breaths? Who knows? You can push the hip to one centimeter. Yeah. Not too far. Don't look at the back then. Keep your spine narrow. Right. Come back forward. Lunges. Back leg. Straight. Right. Back down. Inhale, open both, lean forward. Start with strength, both legs straight, start to run. And then push it up, back to the chest, then push back to down, one, bring it up. Right leg. Bend the knees, open hip. Before you start, this time, then it's split movement, then it's exhale, step forward. Like this, it's a pump. Like previous. Warrior to bring it up. Both hands lower down on the body, exhale. This round, inhale. And then breathe 
lower the chest, you may look down again or slightly bend the legs if necessary. What do you do? Left leg. On the floor, bend the elbows, humble warrior. Then warm up hand in hand. Exhale, forward move. Back knee, come up. Now back heel, come up. Knee to the floor. Gently. Straighten in front of the back, pushing the hip. Eventually, the foot will come up. Heels on the ground. Inhale, come back. You should grab the push. Stay here. Another purpose. 
press it to support. Especially if you hit not on the bell. Or that's usually add, but each read it rise longer. As you breathe out, can you open the body or face up? Okay, for the next three. And then left, uh, left leg, be sit up. Now. You can take your time to lift your foot fingers facing up. If you want to this area with the stretch, not comfortable ankle or knee, use a block to support your right thigh or your knee glutes. Now, high. Okay, but low will be more, more stretch for the inner thigh. Now, wherever you are, which is facing to the camera, but the next exhale to do four. Relax the whole body, want to kiss the knee for the next three breaths. For the next two, are you still breathing comfortably or the breath is already rushing? If yes, take your time to come back up halfway and let yourself breathe. Let's do one more breath. This is the end switch. But let's start from turning to the right side. Go like this. And turn the whole body facing further. Yes. From here, let's bring your left heel inside first. Good. To the left, which is more and less below the shoulder. And, and lift the heel up. The same process. Block. Heel or top. Or glutes or thigh. Which is this part of the sun movement. Okay, it's good also for your hip and for your knee already. Push the thigh for your forward. For the next part, with this, you don't want to hurt this knee area. Yeah. So you want to lengthen this area, shift the weight towards the left. For the next three, go back to the side. More hip. Again, at some point, you feel bad. Loosen and go again whenever you're ready. Well, all right, slowly come back. For a foot down, the press. And then turn the left hand outside. Keep up in your comfortable position. Choose your comfortable position and then shift the hips towards the back. At this location, hands stay. That's our target. So you don't want to compromise the back area. Stay around me. Keep lengthening the chest up. Another four breath. Yeah, kiss 
the floor to one more breath. Alright, let's change a bit. Let's come back to lunges left leg. Starting. Turn your left. Turn the whole body. And then back your up. Turn the foot facing to the camera. And do a forward bend. Loosen the spine. Loosen the back area muscles. But maybe elbows this run. It's still not happening. It's okay to keep floating. So you exhale to let the spine. If you do, you can press elbows. Can you set it to feel more in an eye stretch? Also, another two breaths. Keep your elbows down if you can touch it. Or at least your palms down. I'm a good little girl. Let's lift the heart up, chest up. Let's roll by the inhaling. And then release the hands for a step now. Before you continue, let's close the foot slightly. Like a foot or two foot. And just let yourself breathe before you continue to deepen that area. Okay, for the next hands. And then without doing the side. Side bend to the right. Hold this location. As you bring your right, right hand to the thigh, and who knows, you can go deeper. The next two exhales only. Shift the weight to the left side area. So you bend over to the right side area. And one more breath. Just incorporate. And then let's switch. Both hands up to prepare. Side bend to the left. Left arm to the thigh, towards the right, so you can slide even deeper. I don't know who, maybe you can pass it around. Yes. And for next two exhales, yes, go lower when you're ready. Or, but let yourself to breathe out with that. Let's come to the arms, and then the palms to the ground, breathing out. Next. Right leg, turn to the side. It will take place a warrior to shape. But right leg. So you can just use your hand to support your, uh, not support. Touch your shape up to the side into three corners and a movement. But same thing, you can use block, high block, lower block, or even just high palm. You want to use your hip also to be pushed. and. Lengthen your left hand by the way. Okay, we can add on progressively. The next breath up, can you lower the elbow or hand? Do your top hand going down to the foot. And keep going until eventually this is not a bit. Who knows you can touch it. So, rounding the body to the front. Keep opening to the side or even to the back. One more breath up, and slowly come back to the stage, up to the camera area, and then turn it up. Left hand to shift, three corners on up, right. Before we do the side bend and project, using the bottom hand to open, while the breath is only. Maybe you can send the hip further from this side. Version. Right, right hand by the ear is actually good enough to stay okay. but if comfortable, left hand lower, elbow lower, even if necessary, eventually top hand and touch the toe. Slowly going down, turn the foot and breathe. Yeah. Loosen the legs by moving your hips and bending your knees. One. Okay. For the next round, let's bring your left knee higher. Go down, down to the floor below. Yeah, let's straighten up. The next movement will be called the gaze pose. So, right foot to the yeah. But for now, stay with the foot facing to the 
the front. Put fingers and then run. Eventually, you need to check something, which is your hip area. Is it at the center? You want to make your right hip a little bit lower. But at this location, since we are using the knee, you have comfortable practice using a block or a tower. You can use the front part of your mat if you do use the mat for your knee pad. But better the hip one line first. And then with the right hand side, into the time, left hand, same like previous side bend. As you breathe out, you want to go lower and lower, but the elbow tilt back, which is your body need to leave. For the next step, right, two more breaths and go. Next one, left, bring your left hand only to the hip, keep the body slightly side bend. So you can bring your right hand down and then lift the toe up. Yeah. Lower the elbow. And then top hand to the ear again. This time, as you sit down, you just sit to the hip. Okay. You push to open. Make sure you don't fall back. Yeah. If you do, to support the glutes, to be seated up. Or again, hi. I'm going to say here. Yeah, for everybody who has joined lower, you can make the next two exhale to go. You will feel this pull up. This pull up, you can breathe to go there. For the next one, you don't need. Yeah. For two person, elbows on the ground. Or keep it. Also great. But if you do grab your and turn the whole body eventually, facing down the floor. The left hand will be all this movement. So if you don't feel this, you are very flexible. But if you feel it, option, option, option. Okay. But we are holding for another breath. Okay. And let's release then. Yeah, step by step. Release and, and bring your right knee, come to the center. Take your time to breathe before you Palms on the gun, left foot at the side, but make sure it's one line with the right knee. Get up one leg up, yeah, take support whenever you need, and then make your hip first one line up. The next breath out, doing side bend towards the left area by walking whatever you want it, but each breath in, go longer, exhale, go deeper. You go deeper, don't move your back back. Not yet, that's late. Okay. Right. For the next one, you want to make your hip go back slightly and hands in. Make your left hand inside on the ground, left toe face up. Okay. And then go towards the foot area, then your left hand will go down. Get it? Yourself. High version is good. Yeah. If you do, take a grab the foot and then sit on the ground or heel or okay. whichever it is. Breathe it up to open, face up. Next version, the release. L. This is comfortable portion version for your inner time more. 
and forward bend the body. And four breaths to go. forward slightly and then close to breathe this one into a breath One more 
this uh, virus. Bottom can, if you do, lift the hip and put the hand and then stop. By, by crossing, left leg at the front, right leg at the front. Yeah. For a while, let's sit with cross legs, palms at the knees, towards your spine, side to side, like a rocking chair. So you come up, left hand to the chin or thigh, right hand to the ceiling. And with this, can you use your hand to hold? And we're going to do the twist. Let's come back up, everybody. Holding the twist. I almost forget this. Because we need this twist to go deeper at the same time. Breathe 
slowly come back. That one, let's twist the body to the right side. Your body twisted, so your hips slowly grounded. After that, let's bring really the belly above the thigh or to target the hamstring like this one. And we still need to stay over. Person, you want to make sure your left hip is still grounding. That's the challenge. Step one, step up to feel the thigh stretch. Two more, right? That's the other side. Before you go down, lengthen, turn, and do it. Same for the next five. Switch. 
rotate hip side when you release, roll the hip side to the side, and switch left leg across the front, right leg. For the next five, each breath out full, and you feel the stretch at the glute.
once they found it, by finding it at the center and stay developing the tips, push your palm to the same perspective. And when this palm comes towards the ear, yeah. Oh, actually, really, can you like this palm go further? As an additional, both legs straighten apart. Another two. By the side of your body. Before you continue into a sapasa, so relax muscles and focus on your breath. You can start with moving your wrists, moving feet, foot, fingers, ankles to prepare you to relax. Once you're ready, let it open, let it drop. You still feel it, my head not flexible enough. You can use that. Diamond shape of the foot shape and then the shape of the leg which is better on the side. At this location, so facing up, upward, you can turn it side to side to make sure it's comfortable to rise. And wherever you are, legs, you can change it any time. Breathing, but it's not going to focus on the sleeping, even though you are tired of it eventually. To 
support the body back towards the sitting position. Check your front hip towards the spine with the with your foot to relax. Also your hands, shoulders, maybe your neck. As you breathe in again, grow longer. Stay with the muscles as you breathe out. Close your eyes, you may open your eyes. Yes. Hope to see you again next time.